Over one billion years ago, in a galaxy over one billion light years away, there were two black holes steering up space-time. Hi, I'm Simon, your Dark Cosmos Explorer. These are the two black holes, but first, let's talk about space-time. Space-time is a flexible fabric our universe is made out of. We experience a curvature of space-time every day as gravity, but space-time can also be noisy due to a vast number of reasons, and there can be waves at many different shapes and frequencies, gravitational waves. There are plenty of sources for gravitational waves. Basically, all accelerated matter produces these ripples in space-time, and so do our two black holes. While orbiting each other, gravitational waves at twice the orbital frequency radiate away from the center of origin. These waves carry away energy from the binary system. As a result, the orbit shrinks, the two black holes speed up, they get closer and closer, and the orbital period becomes shorter and shorter. Frequency and amplitude increase over time, until finally the two event horizons touch and the two black holes merge into one. But let's back up a little. This is how our gravitational wave signal looks like. It propagates at the speed of light in all directions and travels uninterrupted throughout the entire universe. The signal may have originated in a supercluster of galaxies some 1.2 billion light years away. It passed millions of galaxies and cosmic voids before finally entering the Virgo supercluster, our home. Currently, it is passing the Milky Way galaxy. Back in 2015, on September 14th at a time of 9.50 and 45 seconds UTC, it hit Earth. The two international laser interferometric gravitational wave observatories, LIGO Livingston and LIGO Hanford, both having just finished a major hardware upgrade, picked up the signal. They measured the tiny fluctuations in space-time along their four-kilometer-long arms. Here is what they saw. Computer algorithms later separated the signal from instrumental noise. The gravitational wave signal lasted for some 100 milliseconds. It arrived at Livingston, Louisiana first, and seven milliseconds later at Hanford, Washington State. The initial signal frequency was 35 Hz, which increased up to 150 Hz. We only know roughly where it came from, between 0.7 and 1.6 billion light years away, somewhere in the direction of the Dorado constellation. But the signal shape was exactly as predicted 100 years ago by Einstein's general theory of relativity. It tells us that the two black holes had a mass of 29 and 36 times the mass of our Sun. The final orbit only took 13 milliseconds. A real-time playback of the event would be quite short. And we know that the final black hole is about 62 solar masses. This is the very first time a gravitational wave has ever been detected. Many more detections will follow and will help us to better understand what is going on out there in the dark cosmos. Thumbs up for the age of gravitational wave astronomy. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to our channel and if you've got any questions, use the comments below. Thanks. Cheers.